When the water in all the oceans becomes transparent, the world will change forever. In a few years, people will discover thousands of new sea creatures that were previously unknown. Simultaneously, the planet will lose hundreds of thousands of fish and mammal species too. The cycle of life on Earth will be interrupted, and humanity will face natural disasters and famine. The beginning will be incredible. Imagine you're sailing on an expensive liner somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. Suddenly, you hear screams. All the shocked passengers come to the edge of the deck and watch an incredible picture. The ship seems to be floating high in the sky. Under it, the water is completely transparent. You see volcanic sea mountains and coral reefs of different colors and shades. The bottom is thousands of feet from the surface, so it feels like the ship is floating high above the ground. Only the fish swimming in this sky let us know that the boat is still on the water. The ocean is about 5% explored. In just a year, this number has increased to 70%. Humanity uses powerful telescopes to study space. Now, when the water is transparent, all the scientists turn their telescopes toward the seafloor. Every day, people discover a new kind of fantastic sea creature. Many of them look pretty scary. A colossal octopus, transparent clams, ugly toothy fish, sea spiders, rainbow jellyfishes. The Mariana Trench can now be fully explored. If there is a kraken, a megalodon, or any other sea monsters in the world, people will soon know about them. Relaxing on the beach is growing more popular than ever. But swimming in the water is a little frightening now. Imagine you're sailing on a yacht in the open sea. You decide to jump from the deck into the water to cool off. You feel dizzy because of the height you see below you. Also, you notice a huge squid the size of a house in the depths. It's unlikely it will swim to you because it's so far away, but you still get creeped out. When planes fly over the ocean, it seems as if they are twice as high in the sky. Skydiving over the water is becoming a popular sport. The average altitude of a skydive is 10,000 feet. But if you jump over the ocean, you'll feel like you're falling from a height of 36,000 feet. It's like jumping out of space. Fishing has become more profitable because all fish are visible from the surface. Boats from afar notice a school of fish and catch it. Because of this visibility, many fishing companies have become more competitive. When two ships try to capture the same prey, a conflict occurs. The water in the ocean is divided into borders. Companies began to buy it as they would land. Fishermen started to hunt unknown creatures. Companies built expensive bath escapes to capture the prey in the underwater depths. Because of this, rare species of dolphins, whales, sharks, and other sea creatures are on the verge of extinction. Governments in many countries spend small fortunes to fight poachers. All over the world, more and more people are becoming treasure hunters. If you fly a few miles in a helicopter over the ocean, you see that the seafloor is scattered with sunken ships. Old pirate ships of the past centuries, modern boats that were considered missing, Hundreds of divers swim to the seafloor to explore the ships. The treasures found there can be sold for thousands and millions of dollars. In addition to vessels, people find submerged ancient cities. New chapters of world history are open to scientists from all over the world. People would finally solve the mystery of Atlantis and find out why crafts disappear in the Bermuda Triangle. The number of shipwrecks in the world has significantly decreased. Even if a boat sinks, rescuers quickly notice it and fly to help. Submarines no longer sail almost anywhere in the world. They served as secret stealth vessels, but now all secrecy has become transparent along with the ocean. Besides the treasure, people see all the garbage that has been thrown into the seas. Billions of tons of plastic lie before the eyes of all mankind. All the water is littered with trash of different colors and different sizes. It's undeniable how marine life suffers from this. It's impossible to turn a blind eye. People decide to save the ocean. In many countries, releasing plastic into the sea becomes illegal. Plastic recycling plants are built in a lot of cities. All the world's sea ice has become transparent. Trips to the Arctic are trendy. 
the valley of ice and cold now resembles a world of crooked mirrors. Some of the ice is so transparent you can't even see it. Because of their transparency, more sunlight passed through. The water level is rising, but it's not a big problem because the water in the ocean evaporates faster too. These massive vapors condense into huge thunderclouds. Heavy rains pour for weeks and even months. Some cities are flooded. Many countries have declared a state of emergency. Previously, the ice reflected the sun's rays and sent them back into space thanks to its white color. Now, vast chunks of ice, some the size of a country, let light through. Our planet gets too much ultraviolet light. Because of this, the atmosphere is being destroyed. Every year, more and more solar radiation penetrates the Earth. This affects crops and increases the incidence of diseases among all living beings. And this is just the beginning of the problems. The ocean contains many microscopic substances needed for small organisms to live, such as photoplankton and seaweed. They are food for larger creatures, krill. Life in Antarctica depends on krill. Fish, whales, and penguins feed on it. If they can't feed on krill, large predators won't feed on regular fish. The ocean is blue because of the salt and various small microorganisms, algae, and nutrient mud. As soon as the water became clear, it lost all its nutrients. Many fish and marine mammals are disappearing from our planet. Sunlight penetrates to the farthest depths of the ocean. The sea creatures that live there were not used to the light. New conditions adversely affect their lives. People discovered so many new species, but lost almost all of them just as quickly. Because of the sun, the water heats up more, and the amount of oxygen decreases. Fish are now not only hungry, but can't breathe. There is a worldwide shortage of fish. Cities that used to live off fishing are growing poorer. Animals, such as gulls, bears, seas, and many others can't find food and are on the verge of extinction. In restaurants, fish becomes an expensive delicacy. People create artificial lakes and breed fish there. But this is not enough to save the planet. When the ocean was not transparent, the water evaporated and condensed in the sky, along with many nutrients. Rain clouds formed, and the wind drove them around the world. Now, jungles and rainforests feed on lifeless water. This affects the entire animal world. Trees and plants in the rainforest stop growing as they used to. Animals become sick more often. And because of prolonged heavy rains, nature is drowning. The circle of life is broken. Fortunately, this is unlikely to happen. The sea is enriched by the deserts. Every year, 2 billion tons of dust rises into the air. Most of this dust comes from the deserts. Then, one quarter of this falls to the seas and oceans and becomes food for microorganisms. Therefore, the dust must disappear for the ocean to become transparent. But it's not just dust that's the only source of a nutrient-rich ocean. Tropical rains fall in the forest of the Amazon. This water, which is also filled with nutrients, evaporates and condenses into a cloud and pours into rivers, lakes, and oceans worldwide. This feeds algae. Plankton and krill feed on the algae, and larger fish eat plankton and krill. This circle of life shouldn't be broken, so it's essential to keep the oceans and seas clean.